Hello, good day everyone, Raj here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share to you the basic information about the use of Active Inspire and how to create flip charts from scratch. So let's start. First make sure that the Active Inspire app is installed to your computer and if not you can go to your Google search browser and type in Active Inspire free download and click on Active Inspire download. Once the installation is over and it is successful, Active Inspire will automatically open to your screen. Now, it's also easier for you to open your Active Inspire next time if you have pinned it to your taskbar. In my end, it's already pinned to my taskbar, so I can just click on it. There you go. And if you don't know how to pin, just right click to your mouse and look for pin to taskbar. Now for first timer, the Active Inspire banner will come out into your screen. So if not, just go to class flow and click on the rocket. There you go. So if you have observed also the recent Active Inspire flip charts are been shown here. These are the flip charts that have opened or used previously. So now let's start creating our, our Active Inspire flip charts. So click on flip charts, then click on the plus sign flip chart. There you go. This is the first slide that will come out into your screen. On my end, I have already, already set my time stamp on top of my screen so my students can easily see the date and the time of the period. I will just delete it first and show you how it is done. There you go. So from the top menu of your Active Inspire, look for insert and choose timestamp. There you go. Now just like also any other presentation, you can also see here the page browser on the left side or to the right side of your screen. I have disabled it to mine, so I have going to show it to you now. So just click on the main menu here at the right corner of the screen, main menu, then look for view and choose browsers. There you go. This is our page browser. So you can see the sequence of your presentation. Now, let's start putting up the background color. If you wanted to make your presentation colorful, so you can click on the color here first. So I will click on yellow. Now I click on the filler or fill paint. Then I will click on my screen. It will add color to my background. Then if you also wanted to add now text to your slide, go to the text icon then go to your slide you may now type into your keyboard your vault there you go now you have already included it and you can see it to your slide if you wanted to have a background color to each word that you wanted to show to your slides just highlight your word and come up here on the top click on different colors that you like now I'll have put red so there's already a background to my word. Now, if you want to add another slide to your, to your presentation, you can just go directly here to the forward arrow. So click on that, it will add your presentation. Another slide was created. Now, if you wanted to have a better background, like a scenery, to your slides so go here at the multimedia icon onto your page browser click on that then you can see backgrounds and choose illustration then either you choose beach or any setting that you like double click and it would come out to your slide now you can already add another words or font to your slide If you want again to let your word just float to your slide, just highlight the word and go to the colored 
and click on no color so it will just be floating all right so that's the basic use of background adding font adding colors to your presentation so and one more is to add timer so these are the basic ones so go to tools look for more tools and click on clock then you can put it on the side so while the activity is going on set the time okay how many minutes click on the minute so it's two minutes then if you want to have sound choose the background sound that you want so i would put bird after two minutes the bird chirping will just going to be played to your speaker you may click also here after the time the next page will turn so i will put turn to next page and click ok now the timer is moving and the students can now do their activity and they can see the timer on screen so that's all for now i'll be having more of the features next time on my next video i hope you have learned something today Till next time, bye.